So over the course of BFA, and now the course of the Shadowlands, there has been lots of banter, speculation, assumptions, in and around and about Sylvanas. Most of it ends up being incorrect. In fact, just sitting here thinking about it, I really can't come up with something the community actually got correct about her. No offense. For example, it was said that Sylvanas was to be the final boss of BFA and that she was going to star in the second rendition of the Siege of Orgrimmar. That didn't happen. In fact, the exact opposite happened. There was no battle. There was no siege. There was no raid. Not to toot my own horn, but I wonder who could have guessed that. Another example. Many thought Sylvanas was going to don the Helm of Domination and become the Lich Queen. Again, that was wrong. And... I could go on, there are many more examples, but you get the point I'm trying to make. We the community, we don't know jack squat. <laughs> we don't know anything about nothing. Every time we get something correct, it's usually because we took a wild guess, myself included. But despite that, despite the fact that there are so many thoughts that are consistently wrong about the Banshee Queen, time and time again we go right back in the hole and keep digging for gold in a coal mine. But this time, that piece of gold we are all digging for is one little word. Redemption. Will Sylvanas Windrunner be redeemed? After all she has done, will she make up for all the torment she has brought? That is the question. The final question, really. And I say, no. No, I don't think she will. And I know. I, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're saying. Oh, but, but, but Dave, Blizzard has set her up for redemption. Ha haven't you seen those cin Sylvanas cinematics? Don't, don't you know that Blizzard is bad at writing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny because I keep seeing that exact statement over and over and over again, and no one has really come to realize it yet, but how many times has Sylvanas been set up for something and then proceeded to not do it? How many times has it been obvious for something to occur, then it not happen when it comes to her? Oh, well, Sylvanas won't become War Chief. She, she, she's simply not fit for it. Oh, Sylvanas won't burn Teldrassil because then it paints the Horde as the baddies, and that's the last thing Blizzard wants to do. Oh, Sylvanas is obviously going to be the next Garrosh and is clearly going to be the final boss of BFA. Oh, of course it's Sylvanas that'll somehow beat Bolvar and become the Lich Queen constantly. Constantly, Sylvanas has been made to subvert our expectations, and what makes today's question any different? You're even screaming it right now, of, oh, of course Sylvanas will be redeemed. It's so obvious, and, well, as time has shown, we are wrong on almost every occasion. So, by that argument alone, no, it's not going to happen. But, when it comes to the lore, that's not to say she wouldn't think about it. Sylvanas can and will weigh her options. She has already done so, but that doesn't mean she is going to turn against the Jailer and lead us to a glorious victory. To be honest, for someone like Sylvanas, it's practically impossible to do so. You see, far too many characters want her dead for her to even remotely have a chance at any sort of redemption. You have Taronda. You have Gen, the Forsaken, her sisters, the entirety of both the Horde and the Alliance, the player base, the Eternal Ones, Bolvar, and it's probably safe to also include everyone in the Shadowlands as she was one of the ringleaders that caused the entire anima drought. So even if she gave up, even if Sylvanas, let's say she goes and pulls a Grinch and her heart grows three sizes and she betrays the Jailer, frees Anduin, and helps us revert all she's done, she is still going to be wanted. People, innocent or not, still died by her hand or her order, and there will be consequences. There will still be those that want justice. And so, if she were to come back to Azeroth, she'd most likely be arrested, tried, and executed for war crimes. War crimes that, I would argue, are worse than the ones placed on Garrosh, and we know how his life post-war chief turned out, which is actually a fair point to bring up. What Sylvanas is doing, she claims it is for some sort of greater good, and this has gotten many a man upset, but this isn't something that's new. A villain with a greater motive is not 
some sort of new concept made up by Blizzard, especially not when it comes to WoW. I mean, if you look at the villains we have come to face over the last so many years, the Burning Legion, Sargeras, they meant to destroy the universe to keep it out of the hands of the Void. Arthas, he wished to conquer the world and convert all to the undead to defend Azeroth from the Burning Legion. You had the Iron Horde, which fought for their own freedom. I mean, you could even put Rathion amongst their company, as he was the one who actively encouraged war between the Alliance and the Horde in hopes of uniting the factions under one banner to better defend our world. So, with all that said, Sylvanas having motives as a villain, that, that doesn't prove anything. It's not telling that she'll be redeemed, it's not telling that she was right and everybody else was wrong, it's just, it's just what people do. Villains. People, you and I, we all have motives. Like I've said to many a people, when it comes to the bad guys, bad people who do bad things will always try to justify it by reasoning that their way is the only way and that all other ways are wrong. Seriously, name a villain from any franchise, any movie, any game where that hasn't been the case and you'll actually find that pretty hard to do. But going back to Sylvanas, when it comes to the Banshee Queen, her ulterior motives for siding with the Jailer, regardless of what she attempts to convince us of, derive from a desire to survive, to outlive any who would pose her harm. And if you don't believe that's her true, undeniable reason for doing anything over the last 10 years, please go read Edge of Night. In it, she comes to realize that there is nothing beyond the veil for her, as her death means a permanent sentence into the Maul. Which actually leads me right into my next point, and is something I have come to realize fairly recently. Regardless of what she does, regardless of who she sides with, arguably the biggest reason for why redemption is nigh impossible for her is because Sylvanas is simply just doomed to die. Like I previously said, if she comes back to Azeroth, someone is going to want justice, and it will be delivered. In that scenario, she dies. The same goes for the Shadowlands. If she stays in the realm of death, the Eternal Ones will kill her, period. She is one of the masterminds behind the drought that saw countless souls suffer. In that scenario, she dies. But then, if she stays with the Jailer and doesn't change her ways, she then also dies because we're rampaging in her direction as we speak. Really, when you come to actually analyze it, all roads lead to Rome. Rome, of course, being death. Sylvanas has no way out. She's doomed to die. It is just by whom. And so, if anything, how I see this all playing out is... The Jailer will betray Sylvanas. Like I've said many times before, he has really no further use for her. She's already tore open the veil, caused chaos, and delivered to him everything he could ever want. And so at any time, at any time at all, the Jailer could just abandon her. Especially so if we start tearing things up. And so, my guess is that if the fate of Sylvanas will be determined in any sort of way, she will be a boss, probably a final boss of a raid, no doubt, and she will die by our hand, but not before the Jailer leaves her to the wolves, those wolves of course being us. And as it will go in her final breath, once she is beaten and dying, betrayed by her associate, Sylvanas will tell us how to beat the Jailer in one final act of vengeance because it is all she knows how to do before she dies and her story comes full circle as her spirit takes its place in the mall right next to Arthas as she was fated to all those years ago. Of course, I could be wrong. Maybe she will find redemption to much protest, but I just don't see it happening. I mean, I guess you could consider my thought on her end as a redemption, but no one will change their mind about her, just as no one changed their minds when Azara gave us the secret to killing Nazoth. Like it says, once bad, always bad, but who really knows? All I can really say is expect the unexpected. Time after time, she has subverted our expectations, and time after time, she reels us back in with incorrect theories. Just uh, always be prepared to be wrong, and rejoice when you are. If you have any questions or comments about this video, Warcraft, or its lore, you can leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to read each and every one of them. Thanks for watching.